Okay, so clearly I have lots of stuff. So this is my bee shelf. So all things beekeeping. Um, so it's in the kitchen. It's got clearly lots of stuff. I have everything from signs to bee pollen, which is in that hexagonal jar, a honey dipper. I have an old smoker from the 1800s to early 1900s. Um, I have some little bees that we made at a ceramic place and a pipe cleaner bee. And here are my beehives. That sign is the exact same sign on the right of the last photo. And here are a couple of little bees flying in. While recording, this little girl came up to me. Guess she just wanted a selfie. And here's the bee cart, so let me show you everything in it. We start off with a feeder box, another feeder box, a honey super, and another honey super. Here's the box that we keep our bee suits in. The one on the left is my bee suit. The bee suit on the right is my mom and dad's, because they share a bee suit. When you combine these two tools, you get this tool. Here is my smoker. And here's the inside of the smoker. Here is my beekeeping box. Here is a frame holder. This is a frame rest. Here's what the frame rest looks like. This is a varroa mite strip. It kills harmful varroa mites that attack and kill honeybees. Here is another box inside the box, which a mini pry bar, a bunch of sweatbands because it gets really hot in a bee suit smoker pellets, and here's what the tiny smoker pellet looks like. This is the entire box. Here's another box that contains a veromite checker, a honey scraper, it does have a cover to protect us, another honey scraper, a side view of the honey scraper. This allows bees to go in one way, but not the other. Popsicle sticks to spread frames. And another scooper slash scraper. This is the color of my beehives. Well, the yellow one at least. Box of extra nails, queen markers, mouse guard, another box of queen marking tools. This one is yellow and is a little bit cheapy. I don't like it. This is how it works. It pushes up and the queen gets up there. This is how you catch the queen. Here is another queen catcher. It's like a garage door. You hold it over the queen and slide it down. Next, you flip it over and all the worker bees can get out. You slowly push this up and angle it to where your queen is good. Marker. This is everything in the red box. This is called a queen excluder. Here is everything needed to burn a smoker. This is called burlap. These are pine needles and pine cones. The pine needles in the bottom are from a Christmas tree. This is called sumac. It calms down bees and also helps to kill varroa mites. I regretted doing this. I spent five minutes trying to pick that all up. This is honeybee food. Here are beetle traps. This is a brand new one. This is what it looks like. You fill it with cooking oil. They sit between the frames like this. Here are beetles that have been caught. This is what an old to use frame looks, or old beetle trap looks like. They fill it up in propolis and it gets jammed and it does not work anymore. So you have to get new ones like those. Here is everything that comes on that tiny little bee cart. So let me jump down off of the ladder like a fool. And my smoke alarm's going off, that's great. So here's the cart. Here are the bee suits. Everything you need to have and must have. Here's the box that the bee suits go into. Honey box one. And honey box two. My smoker. Some tools. And honey feet, not honey feeders, sugar water feeders. You put honey, no, oh my gosh. You put sugar water and um, honey be healthy to help the bees. Here is the frame holder, frame puller and veromite strip, beekeeping box, scrapers and mite test. The gorilla tape is to close bee entrances when you're transporting a hive. 
here is the sugar water and things necessary to relight your smoker beetle catchers and this is Caden's old cart you guys probably don't remember her but for my second channel um she was a very old dog and this was a cart made specifically for her but now she has sadly passed away which means that i can use it for all of this stuff repurposing pretty cool huh So that ended up taking 8 minutes and 30 seconds to do. Doesn't really seem that bad, does it?